Number 1 Basilica de Sant'Antonio Although he was born in Lisbon, Portugal, the eloquent 13th century preacher, Esti. Antony, lived and worked in Padua, which claims him as its own. The saint is buried here, at the immense Basilica di Sant'Antonio, a popular pilgrimage destination since its construction began in the year following his death. Number 2 Capella degli Scrovegni The chapel of the Madonna dell'Arena was built from 1303 to 1305 as the chapel of a palace that was demolished around 1820. While it may not look extraordinary from the outside, its interior is one of Italy's most priceless art treasures. Number 3 Piazza dei Signori and Palazzo della Ragione. In the heart of Padua's old city, three adjoining squares have been the center of life for Padovani since the Middle Ages. Between Piazza della Frutta and Piazza del Urbi, the Salone or Palazzo della Ragione, built 1218-19 as a law court, is Europe's largest medieval hall. Number 4 Musee Civisi and Eremitani Church Two outstanding museums and the Romanesque Church of the Eremitani combine with the Scrovegni Chapel to make up the Musee Civisi. The art gallery exhibits paintings by Giotto, Bellini, Giorgione, Titian, Tiepolo, Veronese, and Tintoretto, as well as works by Flemish and Dutch artists. Number 5 Villa Pisani in Stra, just outside Padua, is the 18th-century Villa Pisani, or Villa Nazionale. Its splendid galleried ballroom has a large ceiling painted by Tiepolo in 1762, and its more than 100 rooms are furnished in empire style. The villa, built by the powerful Pisani family, later belonged to Napoleon and the Habsburg emperors. Number 6 Cruise or Bicycle Along the Brenta Canal the river Brenta, which flows through Padua and enters the Adriatic Sea in Venice, has been canalized since the days of the Venetian Republic, and it was a favorite place for wealthy Venetians to build palaces where they could escape the summer heat. They hired the preeminent architects and artists of the period to build and decorate the villas that still line the canal. Number 7 Prato della Valle Padovans love this enormous square, the largest in Italy and one of the largest in Europe, and call it simply Il Prado. It was once a big swamp, then a grounds for jousting tournaments when, in the late 1700s, Andrea Mamo, whose palace still overlooks the square, conceived of a large plaza and park, and work began on the public space you see today. Number 8 Cathedral and Baptistry To the west of the Piazza dei Signori stands the cathedral, a high Renaissance building, 1552-77, with an unfinished facade. Although the church is not a remarkable example, it is worth seeing for the paintings in the sacristy by Tiepolo and Bassano. Number 9 Orto Botanico The Botanical Garden, founded in 1545, is the world's oldest existing academic botanical garden and the original of all the world's botanical gardens. It began as a way for students to identify true medicinal plants, to prevent mistakes and frauds in a day when healing relied heavily on herbs. Number 10 Piazza del Santo Stretching in front of the Basilica di Sant'Antonio is the large Piazza del Santo, with several other attractions. Beside the church stands the equestrian statue of Venetian army commander Gadamelita, the first monumental equestrian statue since the Roman era, created by the early Renaissance sculptor Donatello, who worked in Padua from 1441 to 1453. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.